Let me ask you, why do you think the polls are contracting? You and I are both not big buyers of polls. I'll give you a little bit of credit for them being a snapshot of a moment in time, maybe. Uh, trend is your friend. But why? Why is it tightening up? Well, I learned something today I didn't know. And there's a Fox News poll just out that's got uh, Harris up two over Trump, which is, you know, essentially a tie. Mm -hmm. But here's what I learned. I don't know whether this is true or not, but it has a ring of truth to it. Some of the polls that want to deliver uh, positive results for the vice president are now heavy canvassing women. So when you get the methodology for the poll, it now shows conservative, it shows uh, liberal, it shows independent, or Democrat, Republican, independent. I forced those poll companies last year to do that, and I'm happy I did. But you don't have any gender, so you can put the thumb on the scale. So you think it's oversampled? Two to one, oversample the constituency that is going to vote most for Kamala Harris, which are American women. If you oversample, you'll get a more favorable thing. Now, somebody told me that's what's going on. I, it sounds right, but I cannot say it's a fact. Do you think the Democrats are missing an opportunity by jumping on the political violence that has targeted Trump and trying to claim high ground of uh, it doesn't matter what he says, you can't do this? And we are not like him, uh, and anybody who goes after him is the worst of it. Like, really talking about it a lot. They've only said the perfunctory things. I know they made phone calls. That's fine. But they're talking about a lot of other things a lot more than the violence that's been directed towards him. I guess because they think it's bad for them. I see it the opposite way. Well, it's always been that way since John Adams and Thomas Jefferson went after each other in the second um, third presidential race, but Washington had no opponent. So it's always been that way. Uh, you'll see it in confronting the presidents. Every campaign is dirty, some dirtier than others. But the Democrats believe that Donald Trump's personality will uh, lead them to victory. So they're going to hit that. I don't have any problem with that, by the way. I don't have any problem as long as, long as they don't call him Hitler, as long as they don't lie about him. Uh, and saying that he's going to be a dictator on day one, which is an absolute lie. Everybody knows he said that in conjunction with executive orders, and it was just an off-the-cuff remark. Uh, I don't like the lying, uh, but I don't mind the policy. I mean, that's what we should be having here. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have it on issues, but remember, the main issue for Kamala Harris is that Trump's the devil. That's the number one mm -hmm. issue. She's got no solutions to anything. We saw it again yesterday in Philadelphia, where a journalist there, the black journalist, said, OK, Gaza, Israel, what are you going to do? And she goes, uh, oh, we, need, we need to get a ceasefire. OK, everybody knows that. How would you go about it? Mm. And then she'll tell you about her middle class upbringing. Mm. It's absurd. It's exactly what Warren Harding did, Cuomo. And Warren <laughs> Harding got elected. He's one of the worst presidents of all time because American voters knew nothing about him. Mm. And he got elected because he wouldn't give interviews. He wouldn't talk to anybody. I don't know if Kamala's campaign has read confronting the presidents, but it's exactly the same. 1920, Warren Harding. History, uh, history repeats itself, right? That's why you want to read it, you want to understand Maybe. it, because you see similar dynamics. Look, my quick take, and we've discussed this and we'll continue to, I don't think the Democrats win in a grievance election. I think if it's a grievance election, meaning um, we hate them, they hate us, which one is worse? I think it's Trump's race to lose. I think if you go towards engagement, what are we going to do on these issues versus enragement, which is what are you pissed off about with these issues? I think uh, the engagement is what the Democrats need. We'll see how it goes. Bill O'Reilly, congratulations. I know success is old hat to you, but I still think it's very cool. Confronting the president's number one on the New York yes, Times bestseller it, list. It's very nice. You know and, what? And it and didn't hurt. everybody on News Nation. One of the reasons this is probably number one, no picture of you. No you. picture of it's you. It's you. It's not... No picture. Oh, no picture of me. There of is you? on the back cover. But News Nation special, <laughs> Friday night, 9 p.m., a whole hour about the book, and it's a knockout special. So we hope everybody will tape and watch it.
Hey, thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget, click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.